My journey to work starts from the house right down to the bottom of my long garden where I've got a series of four little sheds, one that I work in and the others are used for storage of materials and finished pieces. It's quite a cosy space full of things that inspire me like shells and stones and pieces of wood. I feel very much in touch with nature from my workplace which is important as that's the biggest inspiration for my ceramics. I can see the cats wandering about and popping in to see me. I think for me the biggest influence is, is the clay itself. When I first started evening classes, probably about 30 years or so ago now, I found that I had a way, a connection with clay. It was the feel of the clay and I just felt straight away that I knew how to work with it and needed to make big pieces that I could really take my time over. Working slowly and building something gradually, I like that relationship that you build with that piece because you keep returning to them and working on them some more. They're finished when you feel they're finished. My large coil pieces take days to work on, often a number of weeks. Hand building is a slow process and because I smoke fire there are more processes involved before it can have its first bisque firing. Everything is burnished so it's smooth so that after smoke firing I can restore that sheen by polishing with beeswax. I make pots because I love clay. I smoke fire my work because for me it feels like it's the closest finish to things I find in nature. I make vessels because I love the forms and there being an inside and an outside. I've always enjoyed the feel of clay without glazes. I like to think I create pieces that you want to pick up and you want to stroke and touch. Things that I make they're as much about my love of walks along beaches and woodlands and collecting. And I try to represent some of those feelings in my work. It's very much about the relationship of the inside to the outside. So I make the insides smooth and silky by burnishing them and then polishing after I've smoke fired and the outsides are rough and textured like stones or, or shells that have been broken open to expose a sort of silky, shiny secret inside. My small pieces are all handled between 10 and 14 times before they're finished, depending on the marks that I'm trying to achieve. And I like the fact that you know my inspirations are nature and I can smoke fire out there in the elements. To control how their flames and smoke affect the markings, I use a range of resist techniques. For me, smoke firing's a bit like magic, and I've never lost that in excitement of when you're cleaning the smoke fired pieces and washing away the dirt and the resists and seeing the vessel come to life. The processes I use mean everything I make is unique. Each piece is individual, with just a little piece of me and a lot of inspiration from nature.